Lead is a naturally occurring element found in the Earth's crust. Throughout the 20th century, lead was used in the making of gasoline, paints, water pipes, and many consumer goods. But it wasn't until the 1970s that the medical community recognized the highly toxic effects of lead, particularly in children. Americans who were born in the 1960s and 1970s during the peak use of leaded gas may have lost an average of 6 to 7 IQ points. In fact, lead exposure during childhood lowered the IQ of half the US population. This shocking conclusion comes from a recent study that also found that over 170 million adults are at a greater risk of neurodegenerative disease, mental illness, and cardiovascular issues. More than half of children tested around the USA had detectable levels of lead in their blood. The CDC had to lower the blood lead reference value to further identify children with higher levels of lead in their blood which was the first change in nearly 10 years. Lowering the value meant that more children would be identified as having lead exposure, which would push the public health and environmental sector to focus their efforts on lead reduction. So, how did so many American citizens get exposed to lead? Although lead-based paint was banned by the federal government from consumer use in 1978, it still remains the most significant source of lead exposure. In homes built before 1978, peeling and cracking lead paint can be hazardous, along with the dust created from doors, windows, and stairways. A person living in a lead-contaminated environment will get a direct transmission from their hand touching their mouth. This puts young children at the highest risk of contamination because of how they play and interact with their environment. Lead can also be found in toys, jewelry, cosmetic products, and antique items. So. Now that we've established how children can come into contact with lead, what are the health effects and why is it so dangerous? There is no safe level of lead in the body. Lead exposure during pregnancy can cause premature delivery or miscarriage. It can also affect the fetus's nervous system and growth. Children under 6 years old are the most vulnerable because their bodies are rapidly growing and developing. The symptoms may not show immediately, but even the lowest amount of lead exposure can damage the brain and nervous system, eventually affecting learning, hearing, attention, and behavior. Affected children may need repeated testing, nutritional counseling, and diets. In severe cases, they need special treatments to remove the high levels of lead in their bodies. The Massachusetts Department of Health recommends that all children living in a high-risk community should be tested for lead from at least the age of 9 months. For suspected indoor spaces where lead exposure may be present, it is important to have a house evaluated by a certified lead inspector. A house renovation is not only costly, but if not done safely, it can worsen the lead exposure by generating more lead-loaded dust. A house renovation should only be conducted by a lead-certified contract. Lead exposure is a global concern, not just in the United States. Unfortunately, its greatest burden is in low- and middle-income countries. It is our responsibility as individuals to work towards safeguarding our environment and rethinking our consumption habits.